my name is Christina and you're watching Prad Bookline and today I'm going to recommend you some crime novels. So I really love crime novels and I really really think more people should read them but they aren't for everyone and I accept that. But a lot of people haven't tried reading crime novels and if you haven't I think you should. So today I'm going to talk about five books that I like in some way and that I might think you guys want to read? So let's begin. Let's start by Sacrifice by Paul Finch, which actually was the first English book that I read. This is about a Scottish officer named something, uh, Mark Heckenberg, and this book there's very gruesome, awful murders that happened at every holiday slash festivity. So it's a serial killer and we get to follow him trying to find out who's the serial killer like pretty much every other book but i really enjoyed this one because it was twists and turns that you didn't think of and uh, the plot was very good but if you're like me not very used to reading english books don't read this one because there's a lot of scottish slang and i had to ask my best friend she goes to an english school because I actually read this during a plane ride with her. So I was like, what does this word mean? And she was like, I don't even know. So it's not for us non-experienced English readers, but nonetheless, I really enjoyed this book and it was really good. So next up I have a book by Anne Rusman and this doesn't have an English title, I'm sorry. But if you search for her name, you might see what comes up. So the thing that I like about Anne Usman is that I've read two of her crime novels is that we get to follow one historic event and one present event. It's a great book for history lovers like me. So in this book we get to follow... it's always the same place and area like with a lot of crime novels. So this takes place on an island in Sweden called Maastrand and uh, we get to follow when the king used to have this healthy bath around the 19th century in the late year of the 19th century or in the beginning of the 20th century so yeah and then it's connected to this body that we find in this bath hotel that they used in the beginning of the 20th century and this man that's found in the present time, that's 2013 for this book. And they're linked somehow. And we get to follow these persons, not only the detective in the present time, but we get to follow these girls uh, during the historic event. And I really loved following the historic events almost more than I like <laughs> the actual crime plots. But I really like these books. So if you like historical, fiction or just reading about history, I definitely recommend these books. Next up I actually have a debut novel and this doesn't have an English title yet that I know of but it might have and it's by Emily Shep and this is a very good debut novel. And this is about Jaina and she's a lawyer and she's working with this case that she wants to take to court and we find this boss of the migration uh, facility here in Sweden. We find him dead in this book and Jane is the one to bring his case up to court. But before she even has the time to do this, she finds a boy murdered, a little boy. And we get to see what happens and why everything happened, but we also get to know a bit more about Jaina. But yeah, I really really liked this. It was really eventful and I loved how everything's connected and linked. The fourth place we have a book by Camilla Leckberg and if you haven't heard her name that's weird because she's like the queen of crime here in Sweden. Uh, I only read this book by her but I love the TV show from her books. Uh, that I think is really interesting. But this was the first book that I ever read by her and I really enjoyed it. This is about a girl that has been on a horse riding camp but she gets totally lost and we don't get to see her until she's walking on a road and she gets hit by a car but 
she would probably already be dead even if it wouldn't be for the car. If you understand me, she was pretty much not alive anymore. And we get to follow this girl or woman named Erika Falk. And she's married to Patrick and he's a detective, but she isn't. But somehow she links this girl to an old, old case that Patrick had and she wants to find out if they're actually linked or whatever. They might not, they might be. If you read it, you'll see what I did there. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this book and she writes amazingly and she's called the Queen of Crime for a reason. So definitely read one of her books. And last up is one of my personal favorite. So this is called Fire Witness and it's by Lars Kepler, which is actually a pseudonym for a married couple. I don't know their names, but they're actually a couple that write their books together. And this is about the detective Yuna Lina, and they find a girl brutally murdered in this youth home for like troubled girls, if you get what I mean. And this girl has been brutally murdered by a hammer, and there have only been these kids at this house or this camp or home and he is a very special detective i read i think three three books about him by these authors and i absolutely love him but he's very special he's actually finnish not that that makes people special but because of his name and stuff that he says in the books but i really love him and in this book there's a psychic that calls Yuna and says that she knows who the murderer is and she wants money so that she can inform them and in the beginning people are just like well duh, that's a bluff I'm not falling for that one but she gets more desperate each time she calls and uh, yeah this book is really really good it's not as graphic as you might think it is but I really really love it and it's probably one of the best crimes I've read so I just think it's amazing and I think you should all read it and I love the books about Yuna Lina I know that The Hypnotist has been translated to English that's actually the first book I read it like third and then Stalker which is the newest book that's also been translated I don't know about the one other? two other? I don't know I haven't read those <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love Lars Kepler's books. They're absolutely amazing and I love the plots because they're very intricate and they aren't that guessable, which I feel a lot of crime usually is. What I love with crime is that you don't have to read the books in the exact order. You can literally start in the middle of the series. I would just try not to start with the last book of the series because that isn't really a great way to start. But anywhere else you can literally start this series and pretty much every crime series, which I love. I don't read a lot of crime, but I do read crime and I absolutely love reading crime novels. It's very addicting and I love trying to find out who's the murderer and it has made me trust no one absolutely no one <laughs> like really in some YA books I like pinpoint the murder very fast just because I read so much crime and in other books I don't pinpoint it but always have them in the back of my mind because what crime does is that it makes you just no one no one so yeah that was me recommending crime uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. Have a great day slash night slash whatever part is for you guys. Bye! <laughs>